studio is alive with the sound of music to entertain and relieve stress straight ahead. Thank you so much, Jen. Time right now, 943. When we return, reducing stress through music. Instructor and performer Willie Stewart shows us how straight ahead. He's the former drummer of the ever-popular reggae group Third World, and now his mission is to use music as an art form to provide educational team building and personalized stress reduction workshops that will improve the mind, body, and soul. Join me right now, the founder and instructor of Solutions in Music, Willie Stewart. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Sharon. This is so exciting. Just hearing you a little bit ago, I was just like, I felt even rejuvenated. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us how you not only entertain, but use the drums and all these other instruments in or to encourage and, and lift people out of the dumps. Well, today, as you know, with so much unemployment, everybody's threatening to keep their job together. Mm -hmm. Music has always been a tranquilizer. Everybody's a heart. Everybody has a rhythm. If you, if you don't have that rhythm, your heart is gone. True. So I provide stress relief through drums from Asian, from Africa. But music is in everybody. Mm -hmm. And they can, it's a team building stress relief. People have fun and they love it. And where do you go? I noticed we're showing some clips as well of, of some of the places and some of the workshops that you actually have right here right. in South Florida. And you go into corporations, I go into corporations, schools, I do um, um, principals, uh, teachers, wow. retreats, you name it. It fits every, every format. And how many people were talking about That's you? Look at you. That's what me, what yes. year was that? That was 1981. Stevie Wonder was in Jamaica when, um, well, a tribute to Bob Marley when he died. And that was Third World? That's Third World. Wonderful. Tell me what you enjoyed most about being with Third World. Oh, great. Just being with a band with all of us playing for people, the type of music, it was wonderful. And you could see, I mean, just watching you and the energy that you have right there, and I could see some of these people right now and some of the workshops that you've, you've done. It looks like they're pretty large workshops as well. Yes, I can do 100 people, 120 people. All right, so let's get to it. Tell me a little bit about how this all works. How can I relieve some stress? All right, let's play, play a simple beat. Okay. In Africa, if you can say it, you can play it. Sugar for me now, sugar for me now, sugar for me now. Say it and play like, now. I'm, I'm going to play a counterpart. Now. Keep it going. Good. Shy can see me now. 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 <laughs> it's not about me, it's about the people. Yes. The people who come, the participants, they come, they learn, they find out things that they didn't know they could do. Because drums is a, it, it gives you is an energy. It True. gives you play and you feel happy, rejuvenate you. You really do. I mean, just doing that little bit right there kind of made me feel right. really good. I mean, and especially beside you, professional, you're incredibly <laughs> well, do such a great I'm job I'm just a facilitator. Too. In that job, I am not an entertainer. I just facilitate and get everybody going. It's about them. You're so it's modest. About the people. You're so no, modest. That's what so what do the people say usually when they come out to your they workshop? love it. They feel like it's 100%. It works. It's like a motivational speaker. They get full. It, it, everybody has to participate. Mm -hmm. So they play mm -hmm. games. Then they learn complicated beats. They enjoy themselves. They, they always remember it. And when you're thinking of positive things and you're using the drums, you can't be thinking. and You can't be stressing no. out about the worries about work and uh, the economy and all those other things because you're using your energy in a positive you way. Use your energy in a positive way. And drums takes 100% focus. You have mm -hmm. to be, especially when you're playing the coordination, it just brings you, it's like you're, you're Mind is traveling. Yes. You can feel that spirit of God in you when you play. True. And you know, you use the drums for so many different things. I was speaking with some of my family members during the holidays about how the Maroons in Jamaica used to use the drums right. as a way to communicate. Right. Kind it of like is. a Morris code. Right. Well, it's funny you say that. This drum, called a talk drum, comes from Nigeria and it, used, and it has vocal cords like this. And when you play it like this. So if you say, I wait. So it was used. Ooh. It's called a talking drum from Nigeria. The Yoruba tribe used a little bit more. Yes, yes, I love it. Uh, you do? And that sound. What, the, Listen, what is that sound that we're hearing in the Because in I'm the by, by, by pressing it down, I get a high sound by releasing. It's almost like the drum is talking. Yes, because it has your vocal cords. So by squeezing the string on it, you get that thing from Yoruba, and it's the Yoruba tribes of Nigeria use this. Wonderful. Another quick thing that I use, play this. I'm going to tell you to play. What play a straight beat. Uh, what play, do I do? Play, do I just, play, <laughs> just hit them together. Ah, really? This is called Wacky Choose. Hit it straight. Provide a stable rhythm. Keep going now. So when I have 
<laughs> so I use this uh, when people um, do the workshop. This is just simple. You have a hundred people playing seven different parts. It sounds oh. like Mandarin instruments. It sounds like you're in China. You could be anywhere. And uh, do you have to have any rhythms? Because some people will be like, I have no rhythm whatsoever. But you don't know until you try. Really? Oh, you know, if your heart is beating, you must have a rhythm that you can't live. True. Some people true. have better rhythms than others, but then everybody has a rhythm. It's just to find it. Okay. And can you, I mean, we, not everybody has these at home. So how can you bring oh, some of these things? Oh, they can use buckets. People can use buckets. They can use grater to get sounds. They can use different things. You can use a wood to help your desk, chair. You can use your mouth nowadays in rhythm. The youths are using their mouth to play rhythm. Drums is a very important, intricate part of everything. Wow. I love it. People love remember it. the beat before they, they remember the beat before they remember the song and the lyrics. Do you have some students who come in? to some of your workshops and just like this isn't going to work for me I'm depressed I don't know what this is about just entertain me and maybe I'll feel better when I walk out and then you notice something completely different yes the way they come and they say come skeptical oh but mm. I can't do this and when they touch the drums because it, remember there's a whole heap of drums that I bring from all over the world uh, so it's by Africa because Africa yes. was the main thing of everything sure. so when I bring the French introduce it everybody wants to partake so they, they start they get a little timid they, at the end of the day they're drumming getting up laughing dancing enjoying themselves relieving the stress because in this time with the economics we must bring those who have jobs they have to bring companies have to bring those companies people together sure. to be able to do the work can we do another little something yes let's go again yeah, Give me a yeah. beat, go, and we go like this let's that's go Jamaica that's all you do Keep it going. Thank you so much. Sharon, and for, for more information on Willie Stewart, Solutions in Music, you can contact him at 954 430 3027. I hope they can hear me. Can you take us out? Yes. All Please right. Come. Let's go again. We'll be right back. More of Willie Stewart. Long before the civil rights era and the Harlem Renaissance, African civilizations made great strides in academia and the arts. Sharon Lawson introduces us to a well-known drummer who has found a way to carry these links of the past through music. Willie Stewart's mission to show South Florida how African rhythms are infused in our lives. Teaching the Cuban clave to Brazilian samba, he infuses performances with his infectious energy. Rhythm, rhythms of Africa, it came about is that rhythms is rhythm, a rhythm is inside everybody. And this rhythm that came from everybody, like in Jamaica. The dance, oop, oop, in reggaeton, tick, tick, I said the tick, tick, I said the tick, tick. Everybody does. The, the, the frequency of the drum, the high shakes the upper. The mid drums move the body and the bass move that bottom. So you have to move. <laughs> Stewart focuses on the common threads found in the music of the Americas, brought across the Atlantic by enslaved Africans. The brass bands of New Orleans and the griots of Ghana have one thing in common, drums and inherently rhythms. For almost 30 years, he played with the popular reggae band Third World. Well known in music circles, they opened for the legendary Bob Marley and penned chart-topping hits with Stevie Wonder. At a recent performance held in the African American Research Library, he introduced the many drums that he has come across in his travels, including the Dumbe from North Africa. He has incorporated his passion for playing into his ever-growing repertoire. It's always in me. I play. It's like God gave me this gift and I just play. It just, just comes out. I, I don't have to think. These days, he's left the road behind and he's excited about inspiring youngsters to play. And I wanted to work with children. This passion, burning sensation that I needed to give this to, to children and share with everybody. 